What's up guys and welcome back to another video. It has been a while. Obviously the last couple of videos are pretty self-explanatory. I've had coronavirus, COVID-19. So I haven't put a video up for, well a car related video up for about two weeks I think, something like that. So we're back today. The first thing I wanted to do when uh, I was kind of out of lockdown at my house was to come in the R8 to see my parents. So I'm at my parents' house, spent the weekend with them, didn't really do much filming, but uh, now we're back at it because I have the Audi R8 here. So obviously I took this up because it is my daily driver in the pretty wacky looking wrap. But I don't know if you remember, about a month or two months ago, when the car arrived, I was complaining about the aircon and not being able to make the aircon work. And that's a problem which um, has continued until today because basically it's blowing air out, but only hot air and I can't get the aircon to work. So I think it's, yeah, it needs a little bit of a looking at. So today the car is going to Audi, to the Audi service center. So I'm gonna take it now. And I figured I might as well bring you guys along with me. Um, so we're just going to kind of vlog things as we go. My mom, I think, is going to follow me in uh, Mercedes. And then that will bring me back because I think they're going to need to keep the, the car for a day or two. And so, yeah, we're going to drive there in that and then drive back in that. But uh, it's about time to have that aircon looked at because it is so hot here at the moment that driving with the windows down, um, yeah, doesn't really do the job. So it needs to be looked at. Anyways, I'm gonna show you now because if I open the car up in the morning, it makes a pretty naughty sounding cold start. Alrighty, well, we're on our way. This is the uh, point of view uh, of driving an Audi R8. Uh, now, I've already mentioned the differences there are between this one and the V8. So the V10, you know, you got those little red details. You've obviously got the V10 kind of sign down there. Uh, obviously, because the camera is kind of, I'm holding it in my mouth a little bit. Uh, I can't really uh, see exactly what you guys are looking at, but, oh, here we are, little tunnel, crack a window. So it's got the Zen Rage exhaust, this car. So if I change down a gear. Oh, hope there's not too much wind noise for you. But yeah, it's not going too, too crazy. But um, yeah, it does sound pretty good, this car. So we'll close that window back up again, even though it does get obviously very, very warm. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, it's 8 a.m and it's already 25 degrees. So uh, as soon as you have the windows closed and no air con, it does get extremely warm and pretty uncomfortable to be honest in here. So that's why I wanna get the air con working up again because I am really daily driving this car right now and uh, you just need the air con down here. It's not an option not to have it. Now the other thing which I've decided, so originally when we'd spoken about all the changes that um, I, I put on this car, or that we'd put on this car, um, I thought uh, I would put seats as well, bucket seats, um, because they just looked cool and I wasn't convinced by these ones right here. So I've decided in the end that I'm not going to be doing that, just purely because of how much I'm driving this car. I mean, it's now got, as you can maybe see, 42,000 miles. Um, so these are so comfortable, heated as well, so in the winter, super nice. And yes, they maybe don't look quite as cool as some like really racy sport bucket seats, but that just seemed overkill for a car that I plan on doing road trips with and daily driving. So in the end, the seats I don't think are going to happen. However, I've just been sent, and they'll probably pop up on screen right now, photos of my steering wheel. So I ordered a brand new steering wheel. Uh, Alcantara with LED flashing lights. You guys actually selected the steering wheel um, and, and kind of the design, so thank you for that. That's been finished and is on its way. So that is very, very exciting and should be arriving soon, probably around the same time as the new rims. I've ordered new rims for this car and obviously tires to go with it because the wheels aren't quite the same size as what's currently on the car. So I need new tires, which will be arriving soon and the rims as well. So hopefully all of that will actually happen in one go and we'll be able to put it all on the car at once. And then the last thing I'm also gonna do is tinted windows because the car's kind of gonna be all blacked out and tinted windows will just kind of complement that. So yeah, all those things will be coming pretty soon as well as the AC now, uh, which will be fixed. And once that's all done, the car is pretty much finished, I think. And uh, I'm so excited because I'm beyond pleased and happy and 
humbled by it now, but once all those extra little changes are done, it'll be just yet another step. So yeah, very, very pumped. I have no idea how long they're gonna keep um, the car today, but you know, I guess we'll find out. And I'll let you know how much it costs as well, because I'm kind of intrigued, obviously. Right guys, the car is now here in the garage. So obviously the aircon's gonna get looked at, but also just check things around the car. And these are the rooms which are gonna change, which are gonna be black, because I saw the amount of comments that there were. And there's actually gonna be a little surprise on the rooms as well. So I think, you know, as soon as I have news, I'll let you know. But uh, yeah, basically the car's gonna stay here now. And I think I'm just gonna do one video coming back to pick it up and the change is there. So yeah, I'll see you guys in, uh, well, I don't know how long, maybe this afternoon, maybe in a few days. What's up, legends? Hope you're well. Hi, I'm here. I'm testing out a new mount so that you guys can have this like POV perspective driving around Monaco and it'd be perfectly safe. So I thought I'd try out this new mount. Hopefully it's gonna work. I'm not too sure because uh, I think there may be a little bit of noise coming from the mount. So I'm giving it a go. And if it doesn't work out this time, I'll find a solution for next time. But we're just driving around Monaco. We're actually on the Formula One track right now. It's a few days after the last clip you saw in this video. And uh, a bunch has happened since then. I'm obviously back in the car now, uh, but I'll explain what's happened there just before. Let's go around the world famous Lowe's or Fairmont hairpin, which is probably one of the most famous corners on the Formula One calendar. Definitely one of the slowest. They come around here, I mean, when I say one of the slowest, they're doing nearly 100 kilometers an hour uh, around this corner, whereas I am doing about 20. So not quite the same, but here we are. Guys, let's talk about this car. So obviously dropped it off for the aircon and um, a little noise it was making on the rear white right wheel. And turns out aircon compressor needs to be changed and the two rear wheel bearings, um, which is a bit of a pain because that costs, uh, I don't know if you could see over there, there AC Cobra. I know that car actually, it's a, that one's a replica. But yeah, two rear wheel bearings um, and the air compressor. So Audi here in Monton, it's called, quoted me 5,200 euros, please, sir. And this car is no longer under warranty. So that hurts, that, uh, it stings. And you see it come, oh, that noise. You notice it, uh, you definitely notice a bill like that coming in and it's one that you're going to kind of look into. So the bill's on the screen now, everything's in French, I believe, but uh, if you understand French, at least you can kind of see the, the quote. And the reason I'm showing all of this is because I just want to be completely open with you guys on what it's like to uh, own a car like this and drive a car like this and maintain a car like this. Um, you know, it's, uh, I, I consider it being a supercar. I know some people may not agree with that, but I do. And certainly after a bill like that, it seems to have the running cost of one. But I know a lot of people say it's a sports car, and it, you know, it is just as much as well. But uh, even though it's it's one of those kind of really sporty cars that you can come in at, at a, an absurd, but not necessarily a, an absolutely out of this world price. So a lot of people consider it. But the point of these videos is also to uh, make people realize, um, make you guys realize that look, there is cost involved after the purchase of the car, which is something that I am now experiencing. Woo! Um, so yeah, so 5,200 euros. I called up a garage in the UK RE Performance um, who told me that actually this could be done for less. Not a huge amount less, but less. Let's say 1,500 quid less, something like that. So they were, you know, charging me generously at the Monaco dealership. So that got me thinking, look, do I really want to do it here? You know, if I can get it done with original Audi parts, you know, it's obviously better if it's at an Audi dealership, but you know, is it 1500 2000 euros worth just having it done at the Audi dealership or if I can have it done just as well somewhere else is it worth considering doing that so that's the thought process I went through and ended up you know telling the garage uh, the Audi garage look let me take the car back let me think about it and I got a quote from a garage I've worked with a lot who are hugely talented and um, they're about 45 minutes away from here and they work on some serious stuff. I mean, this is like, this is nothing for them. You know, they're, they're working on uh, P1s and you know, all these crazy things. Oh, there's a lot of cool cars up there. Don't know what's going on up there, but very cool. Yeah, so I trust them fully with the car and they actually quoted me nearly 2,000 euros less, yes. which I mean, that makes a huge difference. With, by the way, brand new original Audi parts, which they have access to. Oh, that noise. So uh, that's what I'm considering doing. So I just wanted to kind of keep you in the loop and let you know what was going on 
um, video wise because is the car you know how come you're driving the car but the work hasn't been done why haven't you done it and uh, no shame in saying that look that seemed like an expensive quote I'm not necessarily willing to pay that if I can get a better deal somewhere else I want to be open with the audience and uh, yeah you know at least you guys can kind of see what the kind you know it sounds like something simple I just need to have the aircon looked at or whatever it may be but actually it ends up costing you a bloody fortune so uh, where am I going now I'm gonna go this way so we're just having a little cruise around Monaco boys yeah, just wanted to keep you in the loop after the last video, you know, so I've now got the car and I'm just going to get a couple more quotes just to see there's another Audi dealership, which is about an hour and a half away. So I want to get a quote from them and see, you know, if it comes out the same and if I feel like it's worth, you know, just going with the Audi quote, then I'll just do that. But yeah, something doesn't sit right with it for me. And they seem to like on the bill. I don't know. I mean, they were very, very nice when I went there at the dealership, but there's just something that doesn't quite sit right. So. You know, nothing against that Audi um, service center. And, um, you know, as I said, they were super friendly, but yeah, that's where I stand now. Am I going, I'm, I am going around in circles. I'm kind of talking about the same thing over and over. But anyways, guys, I still love this car, obviously. And there's still all those changes we spoke about in a video last week, which are yet to come. And um, they'll be here pretty soon. And I'm kind of considering whenever I have the aircon and the bearings done to just put hopefully my wheels will have arrived by then so i can put the rims on i can put the steering wheel on i can put the uh, carbon exhaust tips on everything in one go so it'll be in the garage for like a week and then comes back all fixed all modified and good to go so that is the plan on that jolly note thanks for watching as always i really appreciate it you know i hope you find these videos kind of informative from from time to time um but yeah I really enjoy kind of, um, you know, spending this time with you guys and, and talking to you about this and sharing the experiences. Uh, it's really always a pleasure. So thanks for giving me the opportunity. And uh, yeah, I'll see you again very soon. Please subscribe if you aren't already. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.